Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped, and welcome to a very hot and very sunny Dubai. Now firstly I need to apologise because I have the main road that goes from Dubai all the way out to Jebel Ali and on to Abu Dhabi just behind camera, it's very noisy. But I've got a morning off of work and I thought I'd go and do some supercar shopping. Now you have car dealerships in any country in the world but when you have a car dealership in Dubai they are very very special and they're in a big long line down this road. And I thought you guys would like to take a look. Now we're going to start off here at Exotic Cars of Dubai. This showroom is quite frankly insane. Let's go take a look what we could spend our money on, shall we? So first thing I need to add is I am the world's worst car spotter. So please help me out. I am bound to get some of these models wrong. Um, so that's a given. But when you walk in this dealership, you are met with a trio of quite spectacular cars. I have a beautiful uh, McLaren Mercedes SLR Roadster next to me. I haven't seen one of these for a very long time. And you kind of forget just how stunning they are as cars. Part next to that is a beautiful kind of pearlescent matte finish Bugatti Veyron and then just behind that is a, an Aventador SV Roadster which is just beautiful and and actually these aren't necessarily the best cars in the showroom if you go inside a little bit more there's some stonking stuff in here absolutely brilliant I think I might be in here for quite a while Thing I always loved about these SLR McLarens is this side profile with the side exit exhaust and the big fins down the side of the wing and the massive long bonnet. Ah, oh, they're just fantastic things. And then I remember one of the top features when you look inside, you just look on top of the gear selector. That's the kind of start stop button just there. Flick the top of the switch, push the button and off you go. Wicked. This AMG SLS Black Series is in such a mega spec for me. I love kind of grey cars anyway. You've got the lovely canards on the front wing. Massive carbon brakes and you run down the flanks. There's carbon fibre absolutely everywhere. But the car at the back is just an absolute beast. Look at that. Oh, and then parked next to that is just a 488 Ferrari. It kind of... It's not often you come into a showroom and you look at a Ferrari and it doesn't really sing, it's not that special, but in here it's outflanked quite significantly. Aventador SV, pretty special. We've just seen the SLS Black Series, pretty special. And then just pan the camera around and, oh look, you've got a chrome finish. Veyron Vitesse. <laughs> oh dear. Look at this. Internals are just beautiful. <gasps> Exposed carbon, beautiful kind of blue colour. It probably won't come out on camera at all. What a spec. So when I come to places like this, I often like to play the which car would I take home? And honestly, in this showroom, spoiled for choice really, depending on obviously massively on budget. The Veyron chromed out uh, Vitesse is absolutely stunning and I don't know, my gut feel says probably the most valuable car in here. I'm not a big Mercedes fan but that SLS Black Series is very cool. Ferraris always are, I have a soft spot for them. And again, Mercedes McLaren, very nice but I'm honestly really, really torn. Probably the only car I could afford to get anywhere near and I'd probably have to sell a kidney is the beautiful yellow Cayman GT4 over there. Um, uh, and this Aventador Roads is quite nice too. So, uh, next stop, we're going to wander up the road. Very, very hot out there, so I'm probably going to die of heat exhaustion. But there are a couple of other dealerships up there, so we'll walk up the road and see what else we can find. This is good fun. Let's go. Ah, this is much more my budget. Next door to exotic cars is the Dubai Mini dealership. I can, I can actually afford to buy a car in there but I can see a mini dealership in the UK. Let's carry on walking this way. We've also got BMW next door as well. Again, 
no offense to BMW or anything, but nothing too special in there. This is a supercar shopping trip. We need to keep walking this way. Okay, so I lied slightly when I said there was nothing to see inside BMW. Walking past, I just happened to spot this, the new M5. I've not seen one actually in person before, and I just think that color is, it's a bit bold. It won't be for everybody, but I personally think it looks fantastic. Now I'm trying really, really hard to get my hands on one of those at the moment. I really want to drive the new M5. A couple of reasons. One, obviously, it's super, super powerful, but it's the first four-wheel drive M car. And you know what I'm, I'm like with my four-wheel drive car. So, um, beautiful, beautiful thing this is also probably the biggest BMW dealership I've ever been in and next door is Rolls-Royce so let's have a wander past there ah uh, you come all this way to Dubai and it's great to see something that was made three miles from your home makes me feel kind of homesick actually so uh, let's keep walking that way okay beside the busy road again next stop we have Princess Carl doesn't look much from the outside but follow me you walk up these steps and if you want curb appeal get ready ready two 918 spiders one Ferrari Enzo one F12 TDF and that's just the start of it <laughs> this place is even better than the last one just there <laughs> which one would you have I would be very tempted with the F12 TDF actually although clearly a 918 spider one of the Holy Trinity you're gonna be pretty tempted by that too but there are some really interesting cars in here I'm gonna spin the camera around this M4 uh, DTM champion edition looks properly properly aged but they have two cars in here and I haven't seen one for a long time and you can just see it just there they've got two BMW Z8s Look at that. I still think they're beautiful. Even ever since James Bond had one, I still think they're beautiful. Wander over here, and there's you know some normal stuff. There's a Maserati Porte, Porte, there's a Panamera. <laughs> Ready? AMG fans? That's okay. Another Z8, but check it out. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> AMG GTR, not seen one in the four either. And it's in that mega green hell launch edition color. Whoa. or anyone <laughs> now these are one of those really interesting cars they kind of were massively popular and then they kind of died and you could pick them up for really Ferrari cheap money and just the residuals and values have gone up so much in the last sort of three four five years they still look case though don't they Wow thank you princess cars what a selection of inventory that place has oh my god <laughs> Oh dear, Enzo F12, I'll be thinking about that a bit later. Uh, next, literally next door, we have Deals on Wheels. Let's see if we can take a look inside there. Okay, are we ready to enter Deals on Wheels? Here we go, <laughs> get ready for this. Keep getting better, so we're gonna walk in. You are faced with 458 Speciale, beautiful car, very, very stunning. If you like your Ferraris, then you're gonna love that F430 Scuderia. Very stunning. It's over this way. 
Ready? I think I'm going to need a bigger credit limit on my credit card because we have a beautiful black 918 Spider. Seen two of those already. That's fine. We've got another Ferrari Enzo. Seen one of those already. Look at the colour of this P1. Oh man, life. So that's two of the Holy Trinity done. We just need to find a LaFerrari. But let's take a bit of a look around the showroom because there is some stunning stuff in here. My God. I like supercar shopping in Dubai. It's good fun. as this P1 in, they parked it with the nose lift up, so it just kind of doesn't quite look right. But uh, okay, the uh, car I would take home from in this showroom, well, oh, come on, guys, it's got to be this P1. However, the F430 Scuderia that's over there is very nice. But a very good friend of mine bought one of those recently, and there may well be some content coming a bit later on in this year on my channel with his F430 Scuderia. Let's keep our fingers crossed, we're in the planning stage at the moment, but it's got to happen. Well, thank you Deals on Wheels, you've been good fun. Thank you, cheers, bye bye. So, onwards and upwards, let's keep walking, because I'm sure there's more stuff coming. Okay, so this one's not a supercar showroom, but it is a big boys toy shop. Let's take a look inside. I think there's some fun objects of joy in here. When you have a desert to play in on the doorstep, you need some big boys off-road toys. So there's just a little two-seater, but check out this bad boy four-seat proper off-road dune buggy. I cannot imagine how much fun that would be. <laughs> what a machine. I found something within my budget. Okay, so I think this is going to be my last stop of the day, VIP Motors. And by that lineup, we're in for a bit of a treat. So let's take a walk through the magic doors <laughs> straight away. <laughs> by yet another Bugatti Baron. Huge, huge showroom, loads of stock. Let's take a look around and see what we've got. So when I arrived in Dubai and drove from the airport to my hotel, I kind of came along this main road and you can't help but notice all the car dealerships and I thought I've got to take time out to go and do some car spotting. But, but this one caught my eye because it's got this amazing window and you could just see all of these gullwing door cars all parked up. It just looks absolutely brilliant. We've basically got everything from a McLaren uh, 650S, we've got uh, Aventador, 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 Aventador SV, Aventador, um, and then, uh, ooh, what's that at the end? Should we go and have a look? So yeah, line of Aventadors. Another one, oh, love the satin finish on that one. Aventador SV, nice, big and red and shiny. Ah, it's a 570. Very cool. This is for you if you like your G-Wagons. <laughs> we start relatively subtle, big bull bars on the front, clearly. This one, this beautiful Brabus, it's got basically exposed carbon work on the bonnet. But just check out that bad boy. Wow. Surprisingly, my first 720S. Yes. And it's kind of tucked away in it between a KN and a G-Wagon. Lovely, lovely thing. <laughs> so there you 
go guys, I think you will agree that car shopping in Dubai is on another level. Um, maybe not the best stock we've seen so far in here, but it's full of beautiful cars and that lineup is really very special. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. Something a bit different. While I was here in Dubai with work, I thought I'd bring you a bit of car porn. Um, I'd love to know which of all the cars we've seen today, which would you take home? I'm pretty sure I've got a top three. That beautiful P1, the F12 TDF, and I'd probably chuck a Ferrari Enzo in there as well, just because why not? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have done so, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. And with the most stunning backdrop of supercars and bright sunshine from here in Dubai, I'll see you on the next film, guys. Anyway, you take care. Drive safe.